Hello again YouTubes, we hope you had a wonderful, beautiful, rest filled, sunny half term week and that you've all caught up on your rest, you've all had some exciting fun things to do and we can't wait to hear all about it. And here we are once again back with our maths learning and beginning the month of June. Today is the 1st of June 2020. And I'm excited to carry on with our maths learning on money. So please bring up your journals and your learning partner with you and let's begin our learning. Okay, in front of you, you have got a question, a focus task that we will be looking at this uh, Monday. Okay, so let's have a read of it and then we are going to think about what we will do. It says, Sam bought a bar of chocolate for £4. He also bought a bottle of milk for £2. Now, he gave the cashier £10. How much change did he get? Okay, and the question I've got here says, can you draw a bar model to represent this problem? So what I'd like you to do is pause the video Go through the question again with your learning partner. See what you know. What do you already know? Remember, if you're finding it tricky to read, ask your learning partner to read it for you. Okay, read the question for you. But before you go off, we have got a clue here for you. It says you need a total. Okay, and um, in this bar model, there are three parts. Okay, so have a think about it, have a go at it, and we'll come back and look at it together. Okay? Okay, year twos, now that you're back, we are going to look at this problem together. Okay, so I have got my bar model here, and one part of the bar model has got four pounds because that's how much money I spent on my chocolate bar, okay? Then I've got another small part of my bar model which represents the two pounds I spent on the milk. Now remember, my entire bar represents the total amount of money I had with me in my wallet or in my purse, okay? So uh, Sam gave the cashier 10 pounds as we recall in, in the problem. So the total here of the bar model re is represented by the total amount of money that Sam gave the cashier. Now the change is what's remaining, okay? So how are we going to find the missing part of the bar model? What is the change that the cashier gave back to Sam? Let's have a look. Okay, so we just looked at this, so he spent £4 on the chocolate bar, £2 on milk, and there was some money that he was returned after giving the cashier £10. So how would you calculate the change? What I'd like you to do is pause the video here and work with your learning partner on how you did uh, this calculation. What did you have to do? What mathematical operations did you have to use? And when you've paused the video and had a go, we'll come back and look at it together. Well done, Year Twos. I can see that you would have tried super hard on thinking that one through carefully. Let's have a look at it together. Okay. So there are two ways of solving the problem. Okay. One is to calculate the total spending, okay? So how much money in total did Sam spend? So we know that he spent four pounds on the chocolate and two pounds on the milk. So we're going to add those two amounts together. And we know that four add two is six. So he spent six pounds. Now, when we've got our total spending money, we're going to subtract that total from the money, the £10, the total amount of money that we gave to the cashier. So I've got £10 in my wallet and I've spent £6. So the cashier is going to take away the 6 and say, oh, I owe you £4 back. Okay, so he's going to give you £4 change. So in this blank space, 
you're going to get four pounds uh, in there. Okay. Or another way of doing it is to subtract both the amounts of money from the total. So obviously in subtraction you start with the biggest amount first or biggest number first. So you've got your £10, take away 4 because that's the next biggest number and then take away £2 which is the smallest amount of money and you're left with £4 again. Okay, so in both cases you are left with the same answer, same amount of change. So that's the two ways of doing that. If you've done one way or another, don't worry, they're both right. Okay, remember in maths, there's more than one way of getting to the same solution. So you should give yourselves a huge pat on your backs if you were able to do one of these ways. And if you, if you didn't, if you found it tricky, remember, that's why we're going through it now with Mrs Sweeney and Miss Pope and your learning partner. That's the whole point of going over our learning together. So do not worry, we're going to work on this again and again, okay? You can always return to the video, this part of the video again, if you want to go over it. But let's move on for now. Now, what I'd like you to do is have a go at this one, okay, at this problem. So it says, Ravi bought a four uh, and a book, okay? So Ravi bought a, I think, that might be a little pencil case and a book, okay, and a little notebook. After paying the cashier this much money, you've got to tell your learning partner how much money that is, okay, what note does that represent? Ravi received this much change back, so how much money is that? Can you recognise that note? Okay, what is the price of the notebook? Now, what you've got to do is this is slightly um, twisted the question around a little bit. This time you're not finding out how much change you're getting. You found, you've already got the amount of change. You're finding out what the cost of uh, the notebook is. Okay, that's what we're asking you to find out. So think about what we already know. What knowledge have we been able to gather from the problem already? Okay. We have two notes here that we can recognise and we know the amount of. We also have something here telling us that the pencil case cost us £6. So how will you find the missing part? Remember, you can always go back to the uh, previous slide of this video and check on how we did our bar model. So pause the video now, read through the question again with your learning partner and tell me how you worked that out, okay? You can email your answer to me at any given point. So have a go. Brilliant, we're going to move on now. Finally, we're going to have a go at doing our worksheet, which is full of some amazing word problems that will exercise your brains and make you amazing mathematicians, okay? So, what I'd like you to do, once again, I'm reminding you that at any point you find it tricky to read any of the words, your learning partner is there to help you. So ask them to read you the questions if you're finding reading the words tricky. Another thing I want to remind you is that you can always go back to uh, the previous part of this video if you want to go over what you need to do. Or... You know, if you want to repeat something and have a have another go at doing one of our uh, learning questions in the previous slides, do have a go at doing that, and then come back to the worksheet at uh, at the time that you're ready to to do them. Okay, so this is sheet one. You're filling the blanks after reading the questions, and this is sheet number two. So you've got similar problems to the first couple that we've seen in our previous slides okay so do not get worried about the big words you know how to use a bar model we've just gone over it remember what mathematical operations you've got to use think it through okay so have a go year, year twos you'll be awesome at this I cannot wait to see your work 
get in touch with your home learning at this email address and can't wait to see you all very soon. Bye for now.